Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Crown Genesis in St. Pete, Florida, because guess what? This is a vehicle many of you have been waiting for. How do I know that? You've been blowing up my inbox. So without further ado, this is the 2022 updated, changed up, refreshed Genesis G70. And of course, we got the twin turbo V6 version. But before we get into this sports sedan from Genesis, let's talk about what's going on here. Genesis. They haven't been around very long as a brand, but boy, oh boy, are they bringing the business, especially as we dip into that 2021, 2022 model year vehicles. Now, this particular G70, when it first came out, it actually won North American Car of the Year. So you know that they were bringing the heat to go up against the big brands, BMW, Audi, Mercedes-Benz, but guess what? There's a lot of other players in that arena especially of recent memory. Now, this being a sports style sedan is gonna go up against the BMW uh, M340i. It's gonna go up against the Audi S4. Of course, we just reviewed the Cadillac CT5V and the return of the Type S with the TLX Type S from Acura. What I wanna find out is, has Genesis done enough to elevate this G70 to something a little different compared to last year's version, not only styling wise, but also performance and driving wise, is it worth the price at the end of the day for this type of style, luxury, and that overall engagement behind the steering wheel? So let's go ahead, let's compare it to that competition and see is this 2022 Genesis G70 worth it? Let's find out. Right off the bat, they're bringing that style that was first seen on the Genesis G80, the G90, the GV80. So what we have is that split headlight design. I'm really digging it on the front end of the G70, especially because it's so small. I'm really liking that. So you're gonna have that blacked out interior. Of course, LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps gives it such a unique look. You are not gonna confuse this with any other brand out there when it comes to their sports sedans. Drop down, look at how they took that revised front fascia. Love the way they have a nice extension on the top portion, wraps around, and what do we have? We have functional side air curtains. So no worries about zonking in those corner vents because we have that functionality that we want, that we expect from a performance style sedan. We come across that gigantic grill. Now this is one of those mixed things. I think some people are really gonna love it, and I think on the G70, it does fit the lines very, very well, but it is a large grill. So if you don't like a supersized grill, this may not be the vehicle for you, but the way that they kind of have a nice bend to it, it's gloss black with that blacked out chrome finish around the perimeter. I really think that gives it such a nice overall look. Working your way down, you're gonna get the same grill design the only difference is it's a little bit more flat black and it has a nice concave finish to it. The, the biggest news I could tell you is that this is functional because from behind all this grill area, you could see that massive intercooler for our twin turbo setup. Now, when we get up onto that low slung hood, love the Genesis badge, really, really classy. And yes, they took from Bentley, they took from Aston Martin, but the way that they do their body lines, they actually mimic the bottom of the grill in this body indentation here, and then off the wings, right towards the windshield, nice rise, and then both of these are gonna V right towards the A-pillar. Very, very unique, especially when you're comparing it to the sister brand from Kia with the Stinger GT. This hood really has a unique identity. Now, as we wrap around the bend, you can see what we're working with, wheel and tire setup. So you're gonna get these beautiful gloss black wheels. Love the style, very, very, unique and different. This is a 19 inch wheel up front. We're working with 225 on the width, 40 series sidewall. And guess what? They're doing the business when it comes to the rubber meat in the road, because these are those Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. That's going to give you some stick. It's also going to give you some nice overall wear characteristics. Plus just the way this vehicle sits. I think it really checks off a lot of the boxes with the white and the black wheels course that Genesis badge in the center looking very very classy the only thing I would like to eventually get my hands on is going to be that top trim 
with some nice Brembo brake calipers there. I think that would really set it off. Some nice bright red Brembo calipers on this particular setup, I think would be the cherry, that red cherry on top of this Sunday that's covered in whipped cream. Mm, I'm getting hungry right about now. But as we slide down, no time to eat yet. You do have a gloss black vent. I'm only gonna give it a half zonk. The reason why is top half is fake, bottom half is not. So you do have a little bit of functionality there. And you know what? I think that it needed something. I'm not 100% sure this is what it needed, but it definitely needs something on that fender because without it, it would look too bland. But I am glad that they gave it some functionality. Now, as we stay low, look at that side sill kind of just extend down and flare out as you get towards the rear passenger doors. Gives it a lot of character. And remember, these body lines are gonna be synonymous with the previous model year because the major changes are at the front and the back, not so much the side, but you are gonna have painted mirror caps. I wish that they would have shrunk these uh, turn singles in the mirror caps, so I am gonna zonk that. Would have been nice just to have a slim, smoked out LED uh, setup rather than this bright silver finish. But you do get your sunroof, which is nice. Nice, large sunroof. What am I gonna zonk? You know me better than my mother this right here this back portion we're gonna have to zonk it because it would be nice if this was all blacked out instead of it just being this part color matched and the rest black i don't get why they do that black the whole thing out including that shark fin antenna do not leave a white shark shark fin antenna up top but as we come towards the rear i do like the way they have the dark nice black chrome that dark chrome finish around top and bottom of the window treatment something better than just some bright shiny metal work and then let's see what we're working with out back out back you get a little bit wider 255 on the rear tire setup still a 19 inch wheel remember this is a rear wheel drive you can get this rear wheel drive ours is rear wheel drive you could also get it all wheel drive i think that 275 would have been a little bit better way to go but you do have a 35 series sidewall out back and i'm telling you i think the style of the wheels really fit this particular one that we have now as we come around the back same gorgeous setup on the lights. I think Genesis is doing one heck of a job with that split level design, LED, very, very classy, very unique. We come to the center trunk area. Look at how that has this nice concave extension to it. The only thing it's missing, where's my, where's my trunklet spoiler? Just a little bit of a kick up, I think would go a long way, especially since we have the twin turbo version. So that's the one thing I would like to see, even though there is a little bit of a kick up here, just that black finish, I think, would just top it off. You got your 3.3 T. What does that mean? 3.3 liter, not a single turbo, twin turbo. You got your Genesis badge all the way across, G70. Look at those lights. Very, very classy. I'm glad they went flat black in the center section. Thank you for not going gloss black. That would have been too heavy. You have your painted rear diffuser. We do have your decorative trim ring that is a nice... Uh, aluminum finish to it and you do have functional exhaust the zonk is on the corner why in the heck wth is up with those fake looking vents if they would have just kept it smooth it would have been just fine but of course you have your uh, exhaust outlets on both sides and i do like the nice clean cohesive look but these fake vents on the side what what were they thinking but let's go ahead let's pop the hood and see what's powering our g70 all right guys we got the hood popped you do have hydraulic hood struts you're going to see a lot of familiarity compared to last year's model. Obviously, the bracing to stiffen up the front end of the business. And then what do we have underneath that turbo badged plastic cover? Cover is actually pretty tasteful. It's just the turbo, I don't know. I think it would be better off just to have Genesis or maybe just the Genesis badge there in the center. But what are we looking at? We're looking at a 3.3 liter twin turbo V6, a little bit more horsepower this time around with the 2022 version 365 horsepower 376 pound feet of torque it is mated to an eight speed automatic transmission that is the only transmission available no longer can you get a manual transmission so i am going to zonk that but guess what it's our faults because nobody was buying them zero to 60 on this rear wheel drive setup around 4.3 seconds quarter mile is going to go by at 12.9 the vehicle weighs around 3,800 pounds, has a top speed of 167 miles per hour, 
MPGs, 17 in the city, 25 on the highway. Nice to see them bring just a little bit more horsepower. I would love, and I'm sure you would love as well, to see this with 400. Can you imagine 400 horsepower in this style of a vehicle? Sound like it'd be a no-brainer. Maybe that's what's yet to come, but why don't we fire up this Genesis G70 and hear what it sounds like. guys we're in this all new 2022 genesis g70 our particular one is the sport advanced package setup with the v6 twin turbo i know you're saying to yourself well joe i watched your kia stinger gt review of the 2022 model i was kind of sold on that one i was ignoring all the big name plates because i really want to get big bang for my buck i'm curious though i'm loving this g70 how many dollars of mine am I gonna to have to spend to get one of these? MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, is $47,800. Let's go to the door panel and see what you get for your hard-earned money. To the door panel, up top, you're gonna to get nice soft touch material. I think my favorite part is that turned aluminum finish around the door handle. Better than carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is so out, like overplayed. Nice to see that silver finish. You have the Lexicon sound system that looks really great. And then when you go to the armrest, you're gonna get soft material. I love the perforated back portion there and the red contrast stitching just pops. Door pocket is a little tight. A bottle of chocolate milk and maybe one donut from Krispy Kreme. Wrap it well because you're gonna get glaze all over the place if you don't. Now, when you go from the door panel to the dash, Soft touch material, thank you, Genesis. The silver finish is nice, soft touch up top. Look at this, it's the little things. Let me flip this up so that Lori can show. Look how they put just a little bit of aluminum finish around the handle for the glove box. It's the little things that just add up to the big picture. Speaking of big, guess what? Bigger infotainment. So if you had the previous G70, yours is small now. That's what you gotta tell all your friends because we got the big one. 10.3 inch infotainment system, standard on the trims, like the way it's just at the right height. For me, I don't mind this setup rather than it just being stuck to the dash. Of course, you're gonna have navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Let me throw it into reverse. There is our backup camera. Not the clearest, but you do have trajectory. And of course you got that sensing 360 protection all the way around. Would have been nice to have a 360 degree camera but we got to compare apples to apples and we're looking at $47,000 price tag on this apple, this gold delicious apple, even though it's white. But anyways, aluminum finish on the start stop button, little trim here, just a little bit of gloss black. Thank you, Genesis, for not going crazy with the gloss black. You got all your controls, those toggle switches, and then look what we have. Dual climate control, heated seats, yes. Ventilated seats, I'm a happy camper. Drop down, you're gonna get wireless charging. 12 volt USB, there's your 12 volt. Don't put your Twinkie in there, it's gonna hurt. I promise, I don't know from experience though. Somebody told me about that. But I like the way they just put a little bit of silver around there. All the nice smooth finishes. This is gonna control the eight speed automatic. No more manual, it's your fault, you didn't get one. Aluminum turn finish, looking classy. You got your drive modes and remember the new mode for 2021 on this bad boy is sport plus can't wait to show you love the silver finish around the two cup holders there's your updated so the genesis g70 gets the updated key fob for 2022 remote start looking good like the semi soft material the red stitching just sets this thing off open this bad boy what can we put in there you could put about i would say eight golf balls so if you have your tiger woods balls that were signed. You could put them in there and they're not going to get scratched because you have felt lining, a USB, and look at these seats. Let me adjust the headrest because that bothers me. The leather, the stitch work, the perforated center all the way down, nice bolstering both up top and down below, electric assist, which is phenomenal. Add an extra 10 horsepower. We have the red seat belts, so 10 horsepower total, not 10 each seat belt. So just 
something to remember. And then up top, what do we have? There is our sunroof. It's funny because it looked bigger on the outside. Maybe some of you have experienced that before, but uh, it's a standard size sunroof. Maybe like a sunroof and just a tad extra. Would have been nice to have a panoramic sunroof, but I'm gonna close that shade because the sun's coming in. This even has the chauffeur style seat controls. Do you see that? You see how I'm controlling the seat with the buttons on my side over here? Nice touches like that, just really elevate the feel. Get your butt over here because I wanna show you behind this leather wrapped steering wheel in our 2022 G70. All right, guys, we're behind the wheel of the Genesis G70. You have two memory seat settings, which is really nice. I'm six feet tall, and even compared, obviously, to the last model year, it's all the same on the interior when it comes to headroom. It feels pretty good in here. We'll wait and see what the back seat is like. But as we kind of drop down, I like the nice, simple aluminum sill panel here with the Genesis name. And then as we go from the sill to the pedals, they do a great foot box. Nice, large uh, dead pedal, aluminum finish, brake pedal, and throttle. And no matter if you have big feet like myself or smaller feet, you're gonna have plenty of room. And if you're wondering, well, what's the purpose of a dead pedal? It's to brace yourself in the twisty bits, not just to rest your foot somewhere. Seat controls, easy to get to. You have all the adjustments that your chiropractor wants you to have. Same thing with the steering wheel, electric tilting and telescoping. And the wheel, I actually really dig it. The leather, two different styles of leather, perforated and smooth. The red contrast stitching, a little bit of silver. This flat black I wish was, um, I don't know, I wish they would have taken the silver and kind of maybe covered this whole area. The one thing that this steering wheel needs is red stitching on the horn button. That really would have just set it off perfectly, but you got flat black on the buttons, a little bit of silver. You do have paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that eight speed automatic. I'm gonna zonk them, they should be metal. In this category of vehicle, they should be metal. The dash, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. So if you look at the competition, you're gonna have from BMW, Audi, and Mercedes, you're gonna get full digital dashes. This has an analog speedometer, analog fuel gauge. You do have a digital display that is part of the tachometer, which it's weird because it's that reverse spinning tachometer. And then in the center, you can scroll through a whole cornucopia of information, which is nice. And it's really clear. I just wish the whole dash was all digital or all analog, one or the other, not both. But it is nice to have all those readouts and the functionality. Plus we have, of course, our, our drive mode selector switch here, which new for 2022 has sport plus mode. So you're just gonna twist it left or right and it tells you what those adjustments are. And as we look on the dash there, you could see how we go from eco, comfort, sport, sport plus. That's where we're going. But you know what, before we do, let's get to the back seat in the trunk and see how much room you have in this G70. All right guys, back seat time in the Genesis G70 and just like last year's model, still very, very tight here, especially compared to the competition. Headroom, I feel fine. It's just the leg room and whatnot. Now, when you look at the back of the seats, don't like the plastic. I know that if you're a parent and you got kids that pick their nose, this will be easy to clean. And then the cargo net, that's another big no-no. You put a cookie cake in here, that cargo net's gonna rip right through your cookie. And who wants a ripped up cookie? Not this guy. You do have two rear AC vents, which is nice. And I like the way they brought the stitching all the way to the passengers in the back seat. And you do have a USB. And like I was showing you earlier, I do like the chauffeur electric settings, especially sitting in the back seat, because if I was to move it, let's say I move it right where you might be sitting there, you can see I'm a little tight feet. I might as well cut my feet off and throw them in the trunk. But uh, like I said, overall, the headroom is great. Armrest, nice and soft with two cup holders. And I do like the way they brought the fine leather all the way in the back. And of course, hashtag race car, we got red uh, seatbelts for the passengers back here. But let's go ahead, see what kind of junk we could throw in the trunk of this refreshed G70. All right guys, time to get into this sports sedan. I love the way Genesis hides the button. They do such a great job right there. You hit that, boom. No electric assist, rises nicely. Decent size on the opening. I wish that they kind of would have carved just a little bit more area. You do have a cargo net on the passenger side to keep a box of Twinkies. Literally one box of Twinkies from sliding around as you're going down your favorite twisty road. And if you want to know, well, Joe, what's the hard numbers? You're looking at 14 cubic feet of space. Actually has a pretty good depth to it. And the seats do the 40, 60, or 60, 40 tango, whichever way you want to look at it. 
Let's see if there's a spare. This is the big question everybody always asks me. Joe, is there a spare? Yes, you do get a spare on a G70. Can't say that about all the competition in this segment. But while we go ahead, if you're ready, I'm ready. We got the keys to this G70. Let's go take it for a little on-throttle spin. All right, guys, we left Crown Genesis. We're in the 2022 G70 Sport Advanced Package. Right away, I love the seats in this vehicle. On-throttle, here we go, wow! It does definitely put you back in the seat a little bit harder than last year's model. With that little extra horsepower, I just really think that they should have just pulled the cork right out of this engine and went full 400 horsepower. I think that really would have been a nice um, benchmark, especially when you're looking at the competition in this class and there's so many, there's just so many competitors from the S4, from, from Audi, from the CT5V, from Cadillac, the M44, uh, excuse me, M340i from BMW. And, and that's just a few of the players, including the Kia Stinger GT as well. But when you go into your different modes, that's gonna uh, adjust throttle sensitivity, how the engine and the transmission behaves with one another, and also, of course, steering feel and feedback i like the way it's holding on to the gear when you put it in that sport plus mode i think that's another thing you're really gonna uh appreciate is how it really the transmission behaves in a much more performance oriented way than in the other modes and i think that's important if you're gonna have modes have them be quite different from one to another to the next so that you could really personalize the driving experience. But we're gonna get out on the highway. Obviously you have blind spot monitoring, um, emergency braking, lane keep assist, all the safety features that you come to expect. And I really think that Genesis is doing a great job with bringing a higher level of fit and finish with this 2022, but let's go on throttle, here we go. Nice smooth shifts. Sport Plus is definitely where you're gonna wanna be at with this uh, Sport Sedan. Makes sense, Sport Sedan and Sport Plus mode. Nice to have that change for 2022. On throw, here we go. On the brakes. Let's see how the handling is. Ooh, good turn in. Really, really balanced. I could feel some work that they did. It's not just, hey, let's design some new bumpers and stuff, but for 2022, they actually did some revisions to the suspension to really allow you to feel what the road is doing. And that obviously is super, super important and crucial to feeling confident behind the wheel and really taking advantage of the power that you have. And we have a little bit more power, which is nice. Um, still, like I said, I think 400 horsepower. Let me know what you feel about that in the comment section. I really feel like 400 horsepower is the magic number in this vehicle. It really, really is. But the shifts are really, really nice. Getting a decent amount of sound. I would like just a little bit more real sound from the back of the vehicle. I think that would be uh, just another uh, indicator of this being a true sport sedan. Oh, here we go. Nice feel, I'm telling you, the feel that you're getting with the steering is really what's allowing it to feel really good. Watch, I love the downshifts from the automatic. Look at that, it's nice, keeps the chassis stable. All right guys, I'm telling you right now, this eight speed automatic is so different in Sport Plus mode. I know you probably think I'm just over exaggerating, but I have not put this into manual mode yet. That's how good this thing is shifting and how different it is from last year's G70. But from a slow roll, on throw, here we go. Nice. You're just waiting a split second for that boost to build and then you are off and running. 
Look at how balanced it is through this left-hand sweeping turn. I'm telling you right now, this thing is impressive. For the money, this car is very, very impressive. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into manual shift mode and we're gonna use the paddles now. So you got a small gear indicator, second gear, on throttle, here we go. Even using the paddles, you're getting such quick shifts, very, very, you know, where it snaps and you just have that great feel every time you go gear from gear to gear. I like that. It really just raises the whole driving experience and separates it from last year's model. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Suspension works great, over the bumps and everything. Feels really, really good. Nice downshifts. Hot throttle, yeah! The back just came out just a tad. Square off the, that's another nice thing is with these vehicles, you could really square off the turns very, very well to allow you to have that quicker exit out of a turn and that's where you know that they did the smart engineering it may seem that you don't want to lose traction when you're exiting a turn but a little bit of slide allows you to square up that turn and really uh, get it a quicker a quicker exit out of that turn as you go down a straightaway to a next turn but hopefully this gave you an overall feel of what the 2022 G70 is all about. We're gonna get back to Crown Genesis and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys. It's been another great day here at Crown Genesis. I definitely gotta thank Steven and the whole crew for getting us access to their very first Genesis G70 for 2022 with those updates. You wanna add it to your list. It's one of those brands that you might say, eh, you know what, I'm just gonna ignore them and go with one of the other nameplates get behind the wheel one of these it might surprise you and it might be that sports sedan that really wins over the competition is it worth the price that's up to you and your wallet at the end of the day but if you want to keep seeing sport performance sedans here on Rady's rise leave a comment in that comment section if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out hit that subscribe button i promise you it's worthwhile come back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the Rady's rise family if you want to help us keep making great content just for you yes i'm talking to you Click the first link in the description, become a Radies Rise Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the rock in my life, Lori, holding that camera like a champ, getting all the angles of this G70 just for your viewing pleasure. Show us some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for busting your butt out here and working so hard. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.